Hey guys, and welcome back to another Factorio workshop. As always, I'm joined by Madzuri. Greetings. And we have a pretty cool on-site, um, about as on-site as you can get, uh, smelter design here, which Zuri has done. I think a few people have previously requested um, some on-site smelting designs, and, and here you go. So the miners, I mean, I'll let Zuri go over it since you kind of came up with this, but... As you can see, it's uh, it's really nice, compact, symmetrical, and I'll let you take it from here. Okay, I've seen several versions of this before, and it is possible to do this with bots, but it's a pain to do so. Yeah. So if you're going to use bots to build a thing, which I suggest, then you might as well use bots to deliver it to your trains as well. So the smelters go just a little bit faster than the miners, so they'll flicker off. you got to be careful with this sort of thing, because it produces a lot of pollution. And if you're building an outpost that produces this much pollution, you got to be extra careful about the attacks. Yeah, that's a really good point. Yeah, using these steel furnaces, um, this will do a ton of pollution. Yeah, this is also very, very lag friendly. Because you cut off all the logistics from transporting the ore to smelting it all into one little spot. Now you're not getting the maximum overlap that I like to do with mining normally, but this is good enough. Yeah. Um... And then obviously you can't really do this with electric furnaces, so you can't use modules, but um, for earlier game, or well, even mid-game and late game, depending uh, you know what your needs are and stuff, so it still work great. I mean, this little patch here, we've checked our base for any other uh, copper smelting, and there is none. So this patch here is producing about a thousand copper a minute. Um... And then you do have to deliver the coal. As you can see, we have requesters for the coal or whatever fuel you're using, really. Um, but that should be pretty easy enough to deliver. I mean, you could just have a separate train or maybe assign a couple slots um, in the train that comes here anyway and just do some unloading for it or something. I think it would be pretty straightforward. Yeah, you just tear it down as it empties out, and you can just move the plates by train instead of ore. It's... Frequently requested, I'm going to say. Yeah. And uh, and then also another note, for anyone who doesn't know, um, also plates, you can hold twice as many in a train as you can ore, um, because plates stack to 100, or only stacks to 50. So that's another advantage to actually bringing plates back to your main base, rather than bringing ore um, and then smelting the ore at your main base. About half the train is required to deliver the stuff. That's another uh, lag saving plus. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, this is a really good design. You know, again, easily blueprintable. It's all symmetrical. Um, these just happen to be perfectly in sync, which is really cool as well. Um, but, I mean, really, I think that's about it. I mean, if you wanted to use electric furnaces and modules and stuff, you could still do on-site smelting in the regard of having it at your outpost, but I don't think it would really be possible to do it on the actual patch uh, like this. Yeah, you get little missing spots if you put the furnaces inside the patch. So you'd basically have to have like a normal mining and then a smelter right next to it. But I don't recommend doing that. Also, when I said be careful about attacks, that's doubly important because they'll eat chests full of plates, and that's a very bad thing. Oh yeah, that is a huge loss. Um, just out of, out of curiosity for anyone who is curious, um, why would you not suggest doing the smelting like, you know, like right next to your mining and stuff? Because I know people ask about that. Well, it's, it's doable, but you have the same problem with... Uh, with the attacks, right? Pushing mm -hmm. out the edge of your uh, borders. And then the cost for replacing that is huge. You, you basically put your 
all the what's it called modules from your smelting in one place on the very edge of your map where it's very prone to attack. And that's something you usually want to protect in your main base. Yeah, that's a very good point. And one of the reasons for doing it like this with the uh, furnaces, again, you, you can't just module them, but that also reduces the cost of uh, replacing them when they get damaged. Yeah, definitely. So, um, so yeah, I think this covers it. You know, really, really good design here. Uh, I think maybe we'll put a blueprint in the description of like one set of these. I, I mean, it would be really quite easy to replicate yourself. Um, but yeah, I guess for anyone who's lazy, we'll just throw like one line of this as a blueprint into the description. Um, but yeah, I think that does it. So yeah, unless you do have any last things to add, Zuri, I think we'll call it. Other than restating that you gotta defend this thing. No, that's it. Alright, yeah, so definitely defend this. Uh, I mean, tons of pollution and, you know, again, this is a lot of plates. You do not want this to get killed. So defend the hell out of it. But really nice so as always guys thank you for watching hope you enjoyed we'd love to hear any feedback you have on this uh, and any other designs you need to, uh, you'd like to submit as well throw them down in the comments but until next time we will catch you later later <laughs>